Happy new release day, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball Full Case 12 Box Pick Your Team Number One from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks here who bought their team straight up. I don't think there's any Marlins. If we run across any, then we'll randomize them to one person in the break, but we did not sell them. We needed a little help here. We did um, serial numbers for the White Sox and the Rangers, as you saw on the website right there, which helps fills up, fills up uh, pick your team number one. So only the White Sox and the Rangers are vo involved in here, and the rest of them will be for pick your team two, just FYI. And it works just like a random number break. And I think spot 100, any non-numbered card or cards numbered over 100 will be randomized in one lot. There you go, so you saw all the details there. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. One spot gets you four. One, two. Oh, I guess that didn't copy. There's one already. There's two, three, and four. There should be 100 on this list. And then we have numbers one through 100 as well. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. After six, we got Grego down to Josh Pruce. Three and three, six times for the numbers. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Sixth and final time. There we go. After six times, we've got number 57 down to number nine. So everyone gets how this works, right? I'm pretty sure everyone does. So, for example, Grego, any, car, any White Sox or Rangers card numbered 57 out of whatever will go to you. Simple as that, just for those two teams right here. All right, and for the other teams in Pick Your Team 2 as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just kind of scroll through the list as is. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names in just a second. All right, so Bradley, there are your block of numbers there. Let's see if we can actually make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Bradley, there are your block of numbers. Brian Bledsoe with Last Bot Mojo, there's your block of numbers. Derek, Fidel Cairo, George, Jason, Jeff Smith, Jeremy Menel, Joseph Andreessen, Josh Pruce, Lou, Melville, Grego, Paul, Rogelio, Rory, and Stephen K. Now I'll also share this, if you're watching live, I'll share this spreadsheet with you just so you can keep track of those numbers right there. So you should be able to see that in the chat. I'll give everyone a couple minutes to... Uh, to kind of digest those numbers and keep track of them. All right, anyone else need to see their numbers before we start the break? If you do, let me know. Maybe not. All right, I think we can go. All right, so there it is on the 19th. There is the official printout. 
Thanks, everyone. There is the fresh case right here. Cal Ripken Jr. on the box this year. So we got six on the left side and six on the right side. And four hits per box, one per each mini box. All right, good luck. Here we go. MLB Network has the Mets at Braves game on right now. Braves up 2-1 on the Mets. All right, good luck, everybody. All card ship, of course. Higher end sets like this with not a lot of cards. You'll see all of your card ship. Start off with Jose Ramirez. And your hits behind Jose Ramirez is dual relic and autograph Steven Matz at a two ninety nine for the Mets. That'll be for Joe Ivers. Steven Matz is Steven Matz pitching today? Did he make a start today? Yeah, Matt's is pitching today. Three innings, two hits, two earned runs. So far. Whit Merrifield to 50. Reveals a Javier Baez to 75. Quad relic for the Cubby. Sean Mandel on the board. Behind Mike Trout, I forgot to grab that extra car right there. Behind those guys, meaningful material, Brandon Belt, 16 out of 50. Little oppo Joe Mojo for Rick K and the Giants. And behind and Miguel Andujar is archival autograph Tuki Toussaint, 94 out of 299. It's a good autograph from him. That is for Boombox and the Braves. All right, next one. Got 
got some final scores in the league already. Got the uh, Reds, I think, swept the Astros. They won 3-2 to two today. I think that's the sweep, unless they're playing four games. Um, Nationals beat the Phillies in the early game. They were rained out yesterday, so they were playing a doubleheader today. They won the first one, Nationals 6-2. Yankees pounded the Rays 12-1. Oakland over the Orioles 8-3. And uh, in a wild one, the Padres edged out the Brewers 8-7. to Nice design, kind of a nice bright foil around the edges this year. All right, behind Fernando Tatis Jr. is Paul DeYoung. Nice, dual relic and autograph to two ninety nine. That'll be for John G. and the Redbirds. Behind Pete Alonzo is quad relic Anthony Rizzo, 17 out of 99. Two color quad going to Sean. There's Derek Jeter, and he reveals a Don Sutton, 29 out of 50. Archival autograph for the Dodgers, my Dodgers, Jeffrey S. Um, and the Rangers, Rory. Those are the two teams in the serial numbers for Pick Your Team 1. Nice Don Sutton. And behind the Ryan Express is Sunny Gray Yankees Edition, 2 out of 10. Meaningful material. Sonny Gray having a revival in his career after being paired up with his Vanderbilt pitching coach in Cincinnati. Mike Marin with the Yankees. And we'll have those numbered cards top loaded before they go out, of course. All right, next box. Games in progress. Let's see. In the middle of the sixth inning, Mariners are up 7-1 on the Royals. In the top of the fifth, Washington with a narrow 1-0 lead. I think Max Scherzer, who broke... Did everyone see this video yesterday? Max Scherzer, during batting practice was uh, practicing some bunts, and a ball hit the bat, popped right up into his nose, and broke it. So he, he's pitching with a broken nose tonight. Seems like he's doing fine. Five shutout innings. Bottom of the fourth. Tigers leading the Pirates 7-3. Top of the fourth. Angels and Blue Jays are tied at three. We've got the, uh, like I said, the Mets-Braves game on MLB Network for me. Might be different depending on what region you're in. 
I guess if you're if you're in New York or Atlanta, you might get a different game on MLB Network. On a ball that kind of sailed over Ronald Acuna Jr.'s head, Mets tied up the game 2-2. White Sox lead the Cubs early in the first inning. Cleveland leading the Rangers 5 to nothing. They scored five runs in the first. And Minnesota with an early lead on the Red Sox, one to nothing. In the uh, top, going to the top of the second. It's a great shot of the Wizard. All right, way back here is Kyle Tucker. He's going to reveal a meaningful material. Miguel Sano, 11 out of 50. Steve Locke with the Twins. Twins, what a great season for the Twins. Cody Ballinger to 150. And the quad relic is for the Astros. 20 out of 75, Carlos Correa. Nice three-color jersey and a piece of his lumber. Going to Paul Whitlock and the Strohs. Some nice color in those relics. Nice. Get well, David Ortiz. I think he's on the mend. And a dual relic, an autograph out of 199, Josh Hader. That is for Lou and the Brew Crew. There you go, Lou. With the Milwaukee Flamethrower. And behind Chipper Jones is Tommy Pham for the Rays, 39 out of 299. Archival autograph for Mark B with the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, next box. What teams have I invested in today? I've got financial interest in the Yankees. They beat the Rays today. I have financial interest in the White Sox. I guess I'm banking on Lucas Giolito outdueling John Lester. So that I think that game just started. I'm on the Twins. That game also is early in the game. I'm on the Cardinals tonight as heavy favorites, minus 165. I think that game just started. And I think the Rockies at San Diego. I don't think that game started yet. Sorry, the Rockies at Arizona. San Diego played the Brewers today. Good luck. Next box. Wow, Don Rab saying Trout just hit a grand slam. Yeah, all of a sudden the score is 7 3.
Oh, did I just hear that Giolito just gave up a grand slam? Let's see. Lucas Giolito back to doing Lucas Giolito things. I guess he gets a little bit of a leash. He's 10 and 1 on the season. There's Chris Taylor, 20 out of 35. Nice two color relic for my Dodgers. Jeffrey with the Dodgers. So I guess within minutes, Trout hit a grand slam and someone in the Cubs game hit a grand slam. Wilson Contreras, I think. We got Whit Merrifield to 299. Nice one for the Royals. That goes to Gilo and his Royals. Triple Relic, one out of 25. That's Eddie Matthews. Old Milwaukee Brave. That's for Boombox and the Braves. Nice game use memorabilia. That's pretty cool. Four pieces of his lumber, Boombox. And behind Syndergaard to 99 is dual relic and autograph, Brandon and Nemo. Brandon finding Nemo to 299. That's for Joe Ivers and the Mets. All right, next box. Framil Reyes, ladies and gentlemen, has 20 home runs. That's surprising. What player has surprised you this season, ladies and gentlemen? Framil Reyes. I'd, someone said he'd have 20 home runs by this point of the season. I don't know. I would have, would have bet my, uh, would have bet my Tesla. Steve Saints says Gilito did strike out the side, but there was a uh, <laughs> there was a grand salami in the middle of that. Right, yeah. Who the heck is Fran Mil? That's what I'm saying, Steve Saints. Who the hell's who the heck is Fran Mil Reyes? Twenty home runs. You know someone in like your fantasy league has Fran Mil Reyes, and they're gonna try to tell you, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I was I was doing my research. I knew that Fran Mill Reyes would break out in Club Twenty before the end of June. You know, someone saying that in your league right now. There's a good chance Fran Mill Reyes may have gone undrafted in some in like eight or ten team leagues. Barry Larkin. Triple Relic and Autograph. Charlie Blackman. Nice. 65 out of 199. Rockies have been scoring a lot of runs lately. Johnny V. JV with the Rockies. There's Mookie Betts to 150. And he reveals his rival, Didi Gregorius, out of 99. Nice quad relic for the Yankees. Mike Marin with the Bronx Bombers. Noah Syndergaard reveals a Don Sutton. This time out of 25. One out of 25 for Jeff and the Dodgers.
And behind Fernando Tatis Jr. is Meaningful Material, Rick Porcello out of 25. It's a nice patch, and there's, there's a little bit of red, Red Sox red peeking out there. Uh, Ethan with the Red Sox. Tyler Kish says Pete Alonzo, Harold Ramirez, Jeff McNeil are the surprises for him. I feel like Pete Alonzo, though, we kind of saw him raking in spring training. Jeff McNeil definitely snuck up on me. That's for sure. Steven says Jorge Soler, Eduardo Escobar, Joe Ng saying Gio Urshela. Yeah, Gio Urshela. Kind of came out of nowhere. Gio Urshela. Kind of poor Gio Urshela, right? He's been hitting well, and then they went ahead and got Edwin Encarnacion. I'm pretty sure Edwin's going to be eating into some of the uh, Gio Urshela playing time. Slide those boxes over that way. Make myself a little room here. Two home runs for Trout tonight. Six RBIs on the night. Mike Trout, crazy. Johnny Sports Cards saying, for us in Colorado, David Dahl, surprise. Now he's got a 335 average, a 924 OPS, 36 RBIs. That's pretty good. Rockies have a sneaky good, uh, they, have this, they have a sneaky good farm system. Sneaky good depth. You know, they got guys like, you know, Brendan Rodgers, David Dahl, Rymel Tapia. A lot of young players. Josh Bell, I guess, is a little bit of a surprise. I think we always... I want to say most, most of us probably, if you watch... Josh Bell, you got to be like, you saw that potential there. He just needs to string it together, like be consistent for a good chunk of time. That, that's what he's showing now is that consistency. Uh, OPS is uh, on base percentage plus slugging percentage. So it kind of combines those two together. And Ryan McMahon as well. That's right, for the Rockies. I knew I was forgetting someone. Joey's saying, hey, for us Mets fans, Jeff McNeil, not a surprise. All right, there is Brandon Nemo out of 50 for the Mets, Joe Ivers. Yeah, Josh Bell, even with the Pirates. There's Goldschmidt to 50. And 5 out of 10, Cal Ripken Jr. Emma with the O's. Glaber Torres hit a Grand Slam earlier today, too. I didn't realize that. That's a great patch right there, too. Nice. There you go, Emma. And we got a triple relic and autograph, Justin Upton. 141 out of 199 for the Angels. Mary Lou with the Angels. And there's Pete Alonzo. Peter Alonzo. Look at that. So formal. 66 out of 299 on card autograph for Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. All right. Next box. Yeah, Joey's like, how about Jock Peterson putting it all together? Robert, uh, no, no Robert, uh, no Ripken autos as of yet. He's on the box, so maybe we'll get it. Yeah, Jock Peterson over the last two, three off seasons 
has been working on his swing, reconstructing his swing almost every season, tinkering with it. Um, yeah, he's been working pretty hard on that and kind of fought his way into, battled his way into an everyday job. He was subject of trade rumors in the offseason, subject of maybe Verdugo, Alex Verdugo would steal playing time from him. But Peterson's been playing well. This feels a little bit heavier. Is this the frame? Might be. Um, but no, he's. I mean, he's hitting lefties pretty. Like he's hitting lefties decently enough to keep him in the lineup every day. Not a huge liability. All, he's always been great defensively. So yeah, I'm. Ha I'm happy. It's a long time coming for Jock Peterson. There's the frame right there. It's the one per case. Box. Yeah, super happy for for Jock Peterson too, and he's he's a pretty good he's a, he's a good dude. Um, his brother Champ Peterson was born with a uh, born with Down syndrome, and he's always at, Champ's always at the ballpark. They're always raising funds for for a good cause and all that sort of stuff. So he's a pretty good dude. Out of fifty. Francisco Lindor, and our first dual relic, Eric Hosmer and Will Myers, 39 out of 50. Um, mo most of these hits are numbered, actually. So yeah, almost all the all the hits, all the hits are numbered. Padres, that's going to go to Arthur Hackett. Behind Rivera is a quad relic to 75, 48 out of 75, all A's. Matt Chapman, Chris Davis, Sean Manea, and Matt Olson. Darren Smith with the Oakland A's. We'll do this one first. Behind Reese Hoskins to 99 is dual relic and autograph. That's Ramon Laureano. 005 out of 299. The exciting Ramon Laureano. Darren Smith with the A's. And behind Max Scherzer, who's pitching right now with a broken nose, the gold frame is... Roberto Alomar, Indians edition, 10 out of 10. That is nice with the gold ink and everything. Who's got the Indians? Jimmy Brandt with the Tribe. Random Team 2, these are one per, one per case. Random Team 2 is sold out. And we should be uh, we should be expecting a frame in that second half as well, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up after this break. All right, next box. Good luck. Let me make myself a little room here. Yeah, we did pull a one of one in the first half uh, in random team one, Sam. It was a one of one sketch card, which looked pretty sick. DeGrom, I believe it was. 
Uh, uh, Joey, going back to your question, Joe, who's the higher prospect, Jock or Cody Bellinger? Jock Peterson definitely got hyped more because I think he kind of came out of nowhere. And, I mean, he was a he was a top organizational prospect, but, I mean, he just started raking from the get-go and was a home run derby, had 30 home runs by All-Star break and stuff like that. But I think Cody Bellinger has always been... I guess through more of a highly touted prospect. He's going to be a lot more consistent than Jock Peterson, at least organizationally. Oh, Sabathia, with that Yankees win earlier today, Sabathia has 250 wins now. There's Bellinger right there. All right. We got Nolan Arenado revealing a Justin Upton quad relic, 38 out of 75. Vinny's asking, is CeCe Sabathia in the No Doubt Hall of Fame club? I think so. Don't know if he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but I feel like he's got to be an early ballot Hall of Famer. Is Johnny Bench? Yeah, it's like you're, you're a Hall of Famer, but you're not, yeah. And look at this dual autograph. Four out of 15 for the Cubbies. Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo, both on card. Chris Bryant's in a, a redemption so many times, so I'm surprised these are live. That is awesome. That goes to Sean Mandel and the Cubbies. There he is. Nice dual auto. That's our first dual auto. And we've got Jesus Aguilar to 2.99. Archival autograph for the Brew Crew. Lou with the Brewers. Rory says, first ballot for sure. Steve's asking, what about Cole Hamels? Yeah, he just got his 2,500th K recently. Yeah. It's Joey Votto to 50. And reveals a Luke Voigt, 25 out of 25. He's been hitting the ball well, too. Mike Marin with the Yankees. You're welcome, Sean. Joey Saldana's uh, home run derby, his ideal home run derby lineup, Bellinger, Alonzo, Voigt, Trout, Gallo, and Acuna. Maybe mix in a little Josh Bell there, too. I'd like to see that. The home run derby is a little different this year, right? I think I don't know how they're how they're uh, inviting people into the home run derby, but I think now that there's like a there's like a pot, like you can win like money with the player. So they're playing for money, and they're. Uh, they're playing for money, and like so, th so there would be a little extra competition, little juice there, little action, right? I think that's how they're doing it. All right, Rory's like, what about what about Yelich? Yelich has got to be in there, right? I don't know if Yelich will do it. 
That's the thing. I'd like to see him do it, but I've, I've, I don't feeling he's like, I'll pass on that. Bellinger might pass too, actually, now that I think about it. Vinny's saying Rory, Rory only thinks that CC Sabathia is a first ballot Hall of Famer just because he was, used to be a brewer. And Rory's like, no, no. He'd think he'd feel the same way about CC, even if he was a Cub. All right, behind Ozzy Albius is for the Boston Red Sox, Mookie Betts to 25. Carlos Correa to 99, revealing another Red Sox, three out of 35, Andrew Benintendi. So a couple Red Sox relics for Ethan. Behind Blake Snell is quad relic Steven Strasburg, 20 out of 99. Ethan with the Nationals. Couple in a row for Ethan. And behind Trevor Story is dual relic and autograph Lourdes Guriel Jr. out of 299. Stacy with the Blue Jays. All right, almost there. Three boxes to go. Now that we've got a nice long look at these uh, museum collection breaks, future breaks will probably speed up just a little bit, just in the interest of time. Is that card is huge. Logo man, maybe that Sean's guessing logo man. Button, Hudy's thinking, bat barrel. Train whistle for sure, right? I saw a little bit of green foil there. All right, behind Aaron Judge is Kyle Wright, 47 out of 50. Steve Sane saying body part, player use finger. Oh, Joey, let's not talk about that. That 
that makes me nerve that makes me makes my stomach turn I was hoping no one would ever talk about that um, Tuki Toussaint out of 299 dual relic and autograph boombox and the Braves I don't know how that there's a little bit of orange fuzz there Red fuzz, maybe. There's the Man of Steel to 99. And we've got Marcus Stroman, 21 out of 99, quad relic. Did everyone hear what happened to Mitch Hanniger? <laughs> All right. Behind Big Mac, Mark McGuire. What's it going to be? Wow. Woo! MLB logo man, Andrew Benintendi, one of one. Game used memorabilia. And that goes to Ethan Tanney and the Boston Red Sox. Put in a slider box and won't, won't fit in a 180. We'll be able to. We'll be sure to put some blanks in there so it doesn't rattle around too much. Wow. Ethan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Oof. Oof. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Eric Wine says, I don't collect baseball much. How much do you think that would sell for? Oh, his Cleveland cards is Ethan. There you go, Ethan. Nice. Congrats, man. I don't think they're worth as much as basketball logo man cards, Cleveland Rocks, but that's got to go for at least a couple hundred bucks, right? A few hundred bucks, maybe? I think the unique thing about this, though, is how big the logo man is and how much jersey you get, too, right? Usually they just cut it out right there and they squeeze it into like a, a little window, right? But you get a lot of the jersey there, too. And it looks like it's part of maybe the. It's not like the logo man on the back, I think, right? Where it's felt. There's like some. This, this is like the, the rubbery part that may be on the on a different part of the jersey. So, it's pretty cool. Joe, you say close to a thousand? I, I, I mean, maybe it is. I, that feels too high. That sounds like what an NBA logo man would be out of like NT or something like that. I mean, yeah, maybe it's higher. What does everyone think? Because I know NBA logo men, you know, it could be like you can get a logo man of the scrubbiest player, right? And that'll be like six, seven hundred bucks, just like that. You get like a the logo man of a higher player, it'd be like boom, it'd be like a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks easy. Yeah, Bradley's thinking two fifty to five hundred. Trout, yes, Trout would be a couple thousand. Sean was thinking between seven fifty and a thousand. I feel like that's a tad too high. 
I think two, three hundred, maybe tops five hundred. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be whatever someone's willing to pay. Some big Red Sox fan, you know, could really want Ben and Tandy could go off, you know over the next month, and that could make the value skyrocket too. All right, there's Barry Larkin to 50, revealing a Brandon Nemo to 299, archival autograph for Joe Ivers and his Mets. Benny's also thinking it would run about 500, just being a Red Sox man, maybe that... Increases it a little bit. You got Hyunjin Ru, 12 out of 35, meaningful material. He, he's been playing, throwing the ball incredibly this year. Out of 35, Dodgers. That'll go to Jeff. To 150. It's Andrew McCutcheon, poor Andrew McCutcheon. And Steven Matz for the Mets. Out of 50, dual relic and autograph. Another one for the Metropolitans. George wants to buy it. Cleveland Cards wants to keep it. He says he thinks that's going to go in the PC. And a quad relic, all A's. Same players, 76 out of 99 as the other quad relic. Matt Chapman, Matt Olson, and then Chris Davis, Sean Manea. Oakland A's, Darren Smith. Stephen Sane saying that a, that a 2017 Aaron Otto went for 366. A 2018 Miguel Cabrera went for 168. So if those came out like on the week of new release day, right? Because Ethan will be getting this in about about a week. What they say Wednesday? Yeah. From, from break to door. So a week of new release, within a week of the new release day, you might get a little extra boost there too. It'd be a great PC card, yeah. If, you, if you're uh, to add that like MLB logo to that collection, it's pretty cool. Right, so those sold in the last month, right, Steven? So, yeah, imagine if the, it, like the Arenado on new release week, it might have been 500 bucks. Five, six, five. The Miguel Cabrera new release week, probably maybe a little bit higher than that too. Maybe another 30% higher or something like that. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up after this will be the second half of that random team case that we popped open. And then after that, I see 28 orders coming in. So we'll, uh, we'll find some time to go through some orders and then see what we're going to get into. Next. In fact, actually, I think I'm going to go through orders after this. Then I'll do random team too just so we can kind of get a schedule going and then go from there. All right, some great stuff popping out of this museum collection, ladies and gentlemen, so go and get it while supplies last. All right, Joey Votto is going to reveal Gregory Polanco to 50. Pirates. That'll be for Tyler Kish. And we've got Xander Bogarts to 75. Quad Relic. Oh, the football mix are sold out. Nice. Are the mini helmets sold out too? Because we got mini helmet spots. Or a football mixer spots in the mini helmet break. 
All right, so another Red Sox for Ethan. Behind Sandy Koufax is... An Eloy Jimenez autograph. Nice. 38 out of 299. Ooh, that's a serial number team. Who has number 38? Number 38, Joseph Andreessen. With number 38. There you go. Nice. And the last hit should be the triple relic and autograph, Miguel Andujar. Get well soon. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby if he recovers soon. 13 out of 99 next year. Next year. We'll be back next year. Stronger than ever. All right. And there you go, boys and girls. No randomizers to do. Nothing. A nice, clean pick your team one break of the brand new 2019 Museum Collection Baseball. We've been pulling some nice hits like that. So keep your eye out for more of these awesome breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.